Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Tuesday, the 4th of January, 2022. Um, I had said 2021 yesterday, but um, old habits, hard to break. Uh, so 2022, it is the 4th of January. It is the 11th day of Christmas. Um, it is Tuesday of Christmas week. Um, still in Kansas City, uh, coming to you from what is known as the Link, um, like many uh, Midwestern towns, especially uh, because of the cold, cold winters, uh, there is a series of covered bridges that link major areas of downtown. And so uh, Minneapolis has one of these and so is Kansas City. Uh, so just in case you've never been here, I can give you a little tour. Uh, but uh, behind me is iconic Union Station. Um, it is one of the uh, best um, uh, architectural uh, displays of, of, um, of, of, the, uh, of the train um, era uh, in which uh, locomotives uh, powered uh, travel in the United States. Uh, so a little bit of history there, a uh, great terminal uh, for, for us, uh, kind of sort of like Grand Central Station, Union Station in Washington, D.C. Um, and Chicago. Uh, these kinds of places, maybe a 30th Street station to Philadelphia a little bit. Um, but it's right across the street from the hotel, so it's very nice. And it's lit up very nice in the evening, uh, still for Christmas. Uh, Kansas City still knows that it is Christmas week and it is still celebrating uh, Christmas. So bravo for Kansas City, Missouri. Um, today it is going to be very cold here. It's going to, well, actually, it's going to be warm today, a little bit into the 50s, but it is 20 outside now. It's going to go down into the teens uh, tonight, and then it's going to be like 17, 13, or whatever it is tomorrow. Um, so real winter here uh, in Missouri. Uh, in Kansas City. Um, today uh, is the memorial in the United States of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, uh, one of the patron saints of education, primarily edu elementary education. And so one of the patron saints, along with Francis and Claire of Assisi, of the Franciscan School, our own parish school. So today we celebrate uh, the great work that Elizabeth Ann Seton did in promoting Catholic education, uh, particularly for our children, and the great work that the Franciscan School continues to do and has always done now for um, 23 years uh, in, in being able to uh, offer um, an excellent education. Uh, to the students of our parish um, and become very well known throughout the diocese and the United States itself. So, um on this day, uh, there are particular readings for her, uh, but we keep her the readings uh, for the Christmas season. The first letter of John, which basically says that God is love, um, no more no less. Um, and that because God is love, uh, that is why all that has come to be has come to be. Um, it's not because uh, of anything that we have done, it's not because of anything we deserve, not because of anything that we have done to uh, merit or to change anything that God has done, uh, but it is God's love for us that makes sure that uh, what we have uh, in, in, in the incarnation, what we have in God uh, becoming one like us, um, is all because God is the one who first loved us, uh, without us having to earn it, merit, deserve it, what have you. We need to remember that, uh, because in so many ways, it's like dependence becomes this thing in which we have to earn God's love back, and that could be nothing further from the truth. Um, and so we cannot utilize the sacrament or embrace the sacrament of dependence ever in that way. The first letter of John tells us so. In Matthew's Gospel, again, we continue with another episode, again, of the great way in which the incarnation of God changes the world, and the sense in which God responds to our basic needs the need to eat, the need for sustenance, the need uh, to be able to survive. Um, and so the miracle of the loaves and the fishes, um, and people who have listened to Jesus for very long are now hungry. Um, and Jesus doesn't dismiss them, doesn't send them away as the apostles would want him to do, but he feeds them and feeds them practically. Not with something spiritual, not with something ethereal, not with something you know that is you know theologically complex, but with real fish, real bread, to be able to help them be able to sustain and satisfy the hungers in their souls, in their bodies. Um, that is what our God comes to do, is to create a wholeness within us, not to divide us between what is spiritual and what is physical, not to divide us between what is secular and what is sacred, not to divide us between what is heaven and what is earthly. Um, it is a God who unites all things, uniting all things in himself, again, by becoming one like us in the glory of the Incarnation. A blessed Christmas continues uh, for St. Francis and people of God. May the Lord give you his peace.